Greetings everybody This is gonna be a real quick video I promise Now We all have found coins in this condition And uh, Scrubbing it with good old faithful Sometimes just doesn't cut it So I am using a modified version of electrolysis Using a 3 volt Nokia charger, which is uh, 3.7 volt, I think it's 3, I uh, don't know the amp, ampage, it doesn't say, anyway, two crocodile cl clips, positive and negative, a piece of old iron, a square nail, which I've cleaned this end, you can see there for a good uh, contact, the item I want to clean, old copper coin, then I know this looks terrible, but this is just water and coarse salt, a highly concentrate, a concentrated mixture of coarse salt, so it's very salty water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up by putting my sacrificial piece of steel in the one end and clipping my coin onto the other end and the electrolysis will cause the filth and stuff to loosen from this item and go stick to the sacrificial piece of steel. So I'm just going to set it up quickly and I'll be back in just a moment. Yeah, and there you go, it's all set up. You've got the sacrificial piece of steel there in the water. You've got this side, the item you want to clean. Now I just use a little peg to keep it at, uh, not to keep it at a distance, but just to keep it at a, no, uh, a nice manageable depth. And you after a few minutes you'll st you will start to see this coin bubbling as the electrolysis or the process starts to work and um, I'll show you a before and after photo this takes about uh, I, I usually put items in for about uh, 15 to half an hour 15 minutes to half an hour remove it scrub it under the tap with this thing and then uh, if I feel that it needs a, to go a little bit more, I put it in for another 15 to 20 minutes, rinse and repeat. Afterwards, I'll show you how to clean this coin using copper polish. Uh, this is uh, Brasso, South African brand. I think it's South African. Um, probably, I'm not sure. Brasso, another Brasso toothbrush to lightly get into places this thing with the hard bristles doesn't get into and a little cloth just to shine it up afterwards right I'll see you when this thing looks better oh there you can see there you can see it starting to bubble oh, that's great timing and it's loosening all the crappy dirt right I'll see you afterwards right guys the soup is finished and this is the end result. Come on. Doesn't want to focus. There you go. That's the end result. I'm going to cut out that piece. But yeah, this is what the penny looks like that I took out last weekend. After about an hour's worth of cooking in the electrolysis pot and a little bit of copper polish that's the way I like to clean my copper finds this is also the button that I've done yesterday the American uh, general service button was, I'm not sure D Evans and company can't make out the other word yeah that came out pretty pretty nice right, guys that's a good way for you to clean your copper finds just keep in mind that uh, you need to do it in a well ventilated area because the gas that's that comes off the process is actually poisonous and uh, don't use this process on high value metals right there you go guys happy hunting I'll talk to you soon